hormones impact your body's ability to burn fat? I get this question all the time. We're looking at the female body's overall ability to have a good metabolism and everything else. I am Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert. I'm author of the books, The Female Fat Solution, The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon where you can learn all about how to eat for your hormones and your cycle. I'm also host of the podcast, The Female Health Solution. You can subscribe there as well as subscribe here on YouTube. That way you stay updated on all the videos I have coming out. So let's dive in, let's dive in. Hormones and fat burn. A lot of times you feel like, oh, I'm not burning fat, I'm not losing weight, something's going wrong, and I know it's my hormones. I know it's my hormones, right? And it's not that you have hormone, it's that your body's not processing your hormone correctly or you can have estrogen dominance issues, things like that. How do we know? How do we know what's going on? Our good friend Dutch test tells us, Dutch is an amazing way. Dutch stands for dried urine test for comprehensive hormones. It's a urine test that tells us what your hormone metabolites are, not just what your hormone levels are, but how your body's processing or not processing things out well, right? Now, excess estrogen issues can lead to um, issues with PCOS, endometriosis, fibroids, and that goes along with having metabolic issues right? PCOS is, is classic for weight gain, weight loss resistance, specifically insulin resistance. That means your body's not going to be using its energy properly. That can also lead to a cascade of other issues in your system too, systemically, right? Not just with your, your female hormones, right? This is, you know, muscle tissue, your body's ability to recover, your sleep, your stress response, all of it. So when we look at hormones and the body's ability to burn fat, what we're really talking about is your overall metabolism overall metabolism. So um, when we look at this, well, let's talk about, uh, we're going to talk about estrogen. Now when estrogen, estrogen can get a bad rap. Um, a lot of times still, ah, oh, I shouldn't have estrogen and think, no, we should have estrogen. Estrogen naturally when it's in the right levels in your system and it's being processed well, it actually should help burn carbs. That's one of the metabolic processes that should do really well. That's going to help your metabolism, overall function, move things through, build muscle. That The more muscle you have, the more fat you can burn on a regular daily basis. Your basal met metabolic rate is improved. When we look at progesterone, we are looking at your body's ability to burn fat. When your body has uh, elevated progesterone levels in that days 15 through 28, you can target fat burning more. A lot of people think about that as like, oh, I'm not feeling as good and there's just a problem and this is not great. Well, it can be, but this is also, if your progesterone levels are good, this is what can happen. Yay! When we look at, I'm going to write androgen, like testosterone, that is also related with, um, ah, I'm going to put fat here as well because it's related to building more muscle to target more fat. So if you have... You know, and especially for gals who are going through perimenopause and menopause and your estrogen levels are starting to drop, your progesterone starts to drop, as long as you have good levels of androgen like you should, then your metabolic process can change, but it won't completely fall off a cliff because you've got this there. <laughs> the last one here oh, can be one of the most frustrating because it's cortisol, right? If your cortisol levels are off, which if you're thinking, how do I know? Again, Dutch test, it tells us all this and more. Um, if your cortisol levels are off, your body is going to want to gain weight and not want to target it, especially for the female body, right? It will gain weight. You'll have that tire right around your midsection where you'll say, oh my gosh, I, I've been working out. I've been doing all these things. My legs are getting stronger. I can tell things are changing, but that tire will not change. What the heck? Uh, yeah, cortisol. That's cortisol weight. That's a protective weight that your body has. And it's saying, I'm going to hold on to this forever to protect you. Mm -hmm. I've seen people be in bad relationships and gain cortisol weight. They get out of that relationship and whew, changes everything. Yeah. Yeah. So we want to make sure we are targeting the right thing for you and not just throwing things out there. If your cortisol levels are not at the right place, you can actually do more damage than good. I see this all the time with gals who are like, oh, I'm, I'm really struggling to lose weight and I'm forcing myself to go to the gym to work out and that's how I'm going to lose weight. And I'm like, you have very low cortisol. Your system is in survival. Stop pushing it so hard. You're working against yourself here, right? 
So we want to make sure we're testing and applying the right tactics for where your system is at to get it to start to move forward. So that's what I got for you guys today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in. Let me know if you have any other questions. Don't hesitate to leave a comment below. If you're not comfortable commenting, you can always send me a private message, right? I hear from women every day all over the world because they have a lot of questions. And then if you're looking at getting your hormones tested, you don't wanna miss out on looking at the Dutch test to make sure we're targeting the right thing for you. All right, have a great day and I will see you later.